Hi everyone, this is Bill Straub with Modern Thirst again, and I'm going to do a quick uh, tasting of Mellow Corn Whiskey. And um, if you're not familiar with it, this is a whiskey made by Heaven Hill. This is a bottled and bond straight corn whiskey. Now, you may or may not be familiar with corn whiskey. There is a, a, some subtle difference between this and bourbon. Um, first off, in order to be corn whiskey, it has to be 80% corn, whereas bourbon only has to be 51% corn. So in this case, we've got an 80-81% corn mash bill. The rest is, is similar to a bourbon with rye and malted barley. Um, but corn whiskey does not have to be aged in new, new first-use barrels. Uh, so in this case, they're reusing existing barrels. Um, this is bottled and bond, which means it has to be at least four years old and it's at 100 proof. And you can really see the, the difference uh, between this and any other four-year uh, bottled and bond product on how light this is, and that's just because they are used uh, barrels. Um, we didn't choose this randomly for this review. We're going to have uh, on the website a written review of Heaven Hill Select Stock um, in the next couple of weeks. And Heaven Hill Select Stock is a uh, kind of a periodic release put out by Heaven Hill. It's kind of their experimental collection, you might say. It's typically available only at the gift shops. Uh, I did find this one at a liquor store around town here in Louisville. Um, but this particular one is a 14-year-old corn whiskey that's then rebarreled into used wheat whiskey barrels uh, for an additional two years. So um, I wanted the corn whiskey, which is the basis of this, I wanted to use that as a baseline uh, for, for our review going forward. Um, so let's go on and get into the tasting. As I said, this is 100 proof. It's four years old, uh, at least four years old. I can't imagine it's much older than that. Um, we're going to go ahead and give us a good solid pour always. If you're tasting something for rating, please pay attention to the level that people pour. You got to be able to get a good mouthful of it or you're just not going to be able to get a good, good review. Um, it's pretty much impossible to talk about mouthfeel and viscosity, um, the finish, and all the complexity of a whiskey if you have only a slight sip of it. But So immediately, the corn is painfully evident. It is just popcorn in a, uh, in a glass. And that's really to be expected with as high uh, corn count as this is in the mash bill. Very sweet, not a lot going on under there. I don't get a lot of oak. A little bit of vanilla maybe, which is some barrel influence, I think, uh, but maybe a little bit of baked bread, but it might, it might really just be cornbread that I'm smelling more of the corn. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this a taste. As you can see, again, that's a very, very light whiskey uh, at 100 proof. If you were to compare this to one of the bottled and bond bourbons or rise from Heaven Hill that's around the same age and the same proof, they are considerably darker than this. This was pretty true to the nose. It is uh, corn heavy. Um, it is really corn heavy. It's not very complex. This is a really simple whiskey here, folks. It's really, really one dimensional. You get a lot of corn sweetness right up front. You get ever so slightly a little bit of a barrel note on the back end, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of spiciness from the, the small percentage of rye on the, as the flavoring grain. But it's really corn and then after that, that peppery and spiciness kind of kind of dissipates when you get into the finish, this, this actually finishes fairly long, um, that corn really comes to the forefront and it, it's popcorn. A little bit, that spiciness is there, a little bit on the finish, a little bit of cinnamon to it, but by and large, this is a very easy drinking, very one dimensional whiskey. Um, it's all corn all the time. It, it's certainly inoffensive. There's nothing at all wrong with this. Uh, you know, it, it probably would work out better in a cocktail than as a straight sipper. There's just not going on, a lot going on with it. Um, but it does, it does have some interesting flavor to it. It, it, it is very different than, than most American whiskeys you'll taste. 
you know, with Heaven Hill, with, with the big distilleries, you, they are at least 51% corn. Most of them are even much higher than that. So this isn't a huge departure aside from the fact that it's, it's in used barrels, which means it's just not getting that depth of barrel flavor, it doesn't get the caramel and, and the vanilla and the oak tannins that you get in, in a lot of other um, American whiskeys. And it really is sort of what, what would American scotch taste like if we used our own whiskey mash, uh, but aged it much the way scotch distilleries would using used barrels. Um, you know, you, you can see a lot of the younger um, imported scotches, all scotches imported, a lot of the younger scotches come in that um, are very light in color like this also. Um, and that's, again, that's the, the used barrel influence on it. Um, I wouldn't really recommend this as a sipping whiskey. It's probably better in cocktails, like I said. Um, this would be, on the modern, modern thirst scale, is probably going to come in in the mid to high 70s, probably 78, 77. It is inoffensive, so there aren't really bad flavors to it. There's just nothing going on that really would, would make you want to reach for it. But it's fine. Um, for what it is, it's a, it's a, you know, as far as corn whiskeys go, a lot of them that you'll see are going to be white dog and unaged entirely. Um, so this one at least has four years of age on it. It's better than any of those that you'll, you'll try. Uh, a lot of people will call that moonshine, even though it's really not moonshine. Um, so this is better than the moonshine versions. You'll see it, it is drinkable, uh, but I don't recommend you picking up a bottle unless you just want to kind of play around with flavors or maybe use it in a cocktail to get some of that, that sweet corn out of it. Um, but thanks a lot for watching. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash modernthirst. As always, check us out on modernthirst.com. And we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, come check us out. Thanks.